random thoughts I'm having this week. Let's talk about that. Let's get cracking. Good moto morning, beautiful people. Welcome to Cracker's Garage. I'm your host here. Today, today's video has no real special purpose. I'm just sharing some random thoughts. I'm on my way up to the post office to check the mail. Reflect on a few things. Um, first thing I want to talk about is the series with my stepmother. And it's in its very juvenile stage where we're talking about her beginner bikes. But it, it, it will advance to much more advanced bikes later on. And so far, uh, for the most part, everybody seems to be enjoying that series. I've been talking to Ann about every couple of days about it, and she's sending the link to all her friends, sadly, that are still alive, most are not, and they're enjoying the series as well. I doubt they are logged on to YouTube to leave replies and things of that nature, so... Uh, unfortunately, I won't see their comments, but they, the, according to Anne, she says they're enjoying it immensely. And these are folks from all over the world. So that's kind of cool, actually. I haven't heard any uh, results from the family, uh, if they uh, like them or not. But uh, kind of a subtle thought, I was sharing with uh, Riding and Wrenching, uh, Q, a channel that I follow that... Uh, Man, I wish I had done this when my dad was alive so that I could go back and re-watch some of these stories later on in life and uh, it would bring great, great uh, joy and love to my heart to hear him tell about some of his adventures. Some of them were amazing, some of them not so, but uh, and Q was saying, yeah, uh, I, he was really young and uh, he didn't really know about his father's writings back then but he relies on his older brother to tell him about those stories so that's kind of uh, very cool stuff uh, that he still gets to hear uh, the generation uh, before him uh, of their writing and their adventures so my takeaway from that or my advice to the audience whether you have a YouTube channel or not GoPros are very cheap. Look on Facebook marketplaces and stuff like that. You can buy used ones for uh, uh, very low money. And uh, if you have elderly, it doesn't have to be motorcycling. If you have elderly people in your family that uh, want to talk about family history and the stories, you should record them now before that opportunity window closes. And it's kind of sobering for me when I talk to Aunt because she's the last link to that previous generation. And after that, I'm the, I'm the next generation in line uh, to pass on any information of your family or, or their, their doings and things of that nature. So, kind of interesting. Uh, something to think about for all of you. Get a camera, record them, file them away to be shared with family members later on. Secondly, I just got back from a week-long trip to Outer Banks Crossing at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. A uh, beautiful area. If you haven't vacationed out there, I highly recommend it. Uh, we normally go every September. Uh, the rent on the cottages is so much cheaper because it's also hurricane season. And uh, we narrowly missed hurricanes beating on us once again. Somehow, by the luck of the Irish, we uh, managed to have a really good trip. Uh, the, the, the seashore just recharges my soul. And uh, I got to see and uh, enjoy uh, Mother Nature when she's angry. Uh, Fiona came by, the Hurricane Fiona didn't really hit that area by any means but uh, sure churned up the water and made it very angry I'll share a few pictures up here I also shared them on my uh, social media so folks several of you have probably already seen these but uh, 
lake. The angry ocean is just as beautiful as a serene, calm one to me. Went to the uh, aquarium and that's uh, where I usually buy my souvenirs is from places like the aquarium because when you buy their hats or t-shirts things items like this uh, the normally the uh, the monies that comes generated from those sales go to keeping the aquarium going this particular aquarium in North Carolina is a rescue operation as well for sea turtles that suffer from prop strikes uh, of boats in the uh, area. So it's not uncommon to see patients in there getting healed up and they have quite the to-do uh, display for children to get involved and understand what they're trying to do. And uh, besides that, they have a really cool aquarium there, so I highly recommend it. So when you're vacationing, Maybe give it some thought as to where you buy your souvenirs from to help society as a whole or uh, to an area that uh, could use the support and that would be your dollars going towards an aquarium in this case so, rather than just lining somebody's pockets. Something to think about. Lastly, uh, I have been emailing out uh, some of Ann's articles that she wrote for magazines and things of that nature which she was writing to several of you and uh, if somebody would like to read those articles I have scanned them and I just email you folders and uh, if you're interested just uh, hit me up at uh, krakensgarage at gmail.com and I will once a week send out a story or, or two uh, in hopes that maybe you enjoy her reading. She's quite an eloquent writer. Her coming into the English language is amazing. So, if you have any interest, I'll be glad to forward those to you. So, there's some random thoughts for today. We're going to break here for a shout-out, and I'll meet you right back here in just a moment. And we interrupt our program to give a shout-out and a quick update. First of all, I would like to give a hearty thank you to Johnny Glide, who became a Patreon. He hails from Berkshire, UK, and he just started his YouTube channel. <laughs> I believe I'm his only sub. He's going to start doing his uh, moto vlogging uh, come December. And if I can help you, Johnny, in any way, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And thank you for becoming a Patreon. My Patreons are my lifeblood to this channel. Thank you so much. And this week's shout out goes to Tech Nick Rides. Nick has 151 subs. He has 63 videos out. He's rocking a 2016 Indian 60 Scout. And he just recently picked up a 2019 Kawasaki Vulcan S for his lovely wife, Ashley. They're a team. What I really like about Nick is he just started his channel and He's wandering down that dark hallway called YouTube where you don't know what you're doing and how to set it up and get up and rolling. Uh, what he is is he's a, a, a tech in his garage. He services all his bikes. He self-admittedly admits that he's not an expert on it and he's learning as he goes. And uh, he shares his experiences as he's going along, along with some motive vlogs and some random thoughts. His uh, motto is, hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, Technic Rides, formerly Detronius Rides. Mostly the topics I cover on my channel are for my 2016 Indian Scout 60. I cover everything from how-tos, motovlogging, trips, and other various topics. I will admit I'm no expert, so this is as much a learning experience as it is for anyone else. I hope you enjoy the content, ride safe, and thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time. I met Nick and Ashley at uh, VAM 22. They hail from Virginia. Uh, they're in my close proximity. Nick, should you or Ashley need any help with your YouTube channel, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me. I will help you in any way I can. Folks, if you would be so kind to go uh, check out Nick and Ashley's channel, I'll have the links listed right down below. And if you like them and subscribe to them, please let them know the crap it sent you. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's get cracking. And welcome back, everybody. Thank you for hanging around. For those of you that did for the shout out, as we try to build the Moto Vlogger community by giving one shout out at a time. And there's my ghost dog, 
Daisy Bay. She's right up here to tell me to wrap up this video. If you would like to become a Patreon, the link is listed right down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more in the future, hit the subscribe button right down there in the corner. And remember, folks, go riding because it's good for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>